Hey, what's up guys? Bird Brothers Media here, back with another video. So far we've showed you how to balance your Ronin, how to replicate Hollywood style shots, and now today we're going to be showing you how we speed ramp our way through a home. So first things first, before you even get started, you want to make sure everything's all properly balanced on your Ronin and ready to go. Now we already took the time to get things balanced so we can just get right into the settings and get shooting. But if you haven't taken the time yet, please check out our earlier video where we sort of talk about the full nine yards of calibrating it and balancing it and making sure it's all good to go. So let's just jump right into the settings here. All right, the next thing that you want to consider whenever speed ramping through your home is your settings. We like to shoot at 60 frames per second. This gives us the ability to slow our footage down in post. So if you're shooting at 60 frames per second, remember you always wanna keep your shutter speed at double your frame rate. So that would be one over 125. The reason you wanna shoot at a shutter speed of double your frame rate is to make sure that you have a cinematic looking like motion blur. If your shutter speed is too fast, then there won't be any motion blur. And if your shutter speed is too slow, then your motion blur will seem choppy. All right guys, so next you wanna actually do the shot itself. So just like we talked about in the last video we just released, um, sort of replicating those Hollywood style shots. This is also one of those Hollywood style shots, but you kinda of wanna use it rarely if possible, maybe like once or twice in a video, so it's not too over monotonous. And right here behind me is a perfect example. We're just gonna go from one bedroom over here into this bedroom. So I'm gonna start right here. Make sure I'm recording and all good to go. And I'm gonna be in on this bedroom and I'm gonna pull it out, move it over here, and get in on this bedroom. And that way we can speed up and slow down as we please from one part to the other, depending on what style of music we pick. All right, we're gonna get back to our property tour video here, but tonight we're gonna take it to the studio and show you guys how to ensure those smooth speed ramp shots. All right, what's up guys? We're back here in the studio now. I'm gonna show you guys how to properly speed ramp in post. So, as you can see here, I have a couple clips loaded up in my timeline. By the way, we're working in Premiere Pro. I know we haven't mentioned that in the last couple videos, but um, I'm mentioning it now. We're working in Premiere Pro. Go ahead and check your sequence settings. Make sure that your time base here says 23.976 frames per second, as well as your display format. That's what we export these uh, property tour videos at, at least. If you were shooting a documentary or an interview, then you might want to export that at 30 frames per second. But for our sake, we're using 23.976 frames per second. So because we shot this at 60 frames per second and we're exporting at 23.976, that means that we are able to slow our footage down to 40%. Now if we were exporting this at 30 frames per second, then we would only be able to slow that footage down to 50% because we shot it at 60 frames per second. But because we're at 24 frames, we're able to slow that down to 40%. So I'm gonna go ahead here to my first clip and I just dragged the, the song that I used for uh, the opener for this video. I just dragged it in here for example purposes. And so I want to start this off at, this, at the pace that it's going at here, but I want to slow it down whenever this bass hits. So I'm going to find that frame right here. So right click on your clip, go down to show clip keyframes, time remapping, and speed. Then we're going to zoom in on this a little bit here and because I already stopped right here on the beat I'm just going to go to effect controls and you can see here my speed starts at 100% but I want it to slow down on this beat so I'm going to add a keyframe here and I'm just going to go ahead and drag this right side down here to 40%. So now this is the first part of it. Make sure that you always are splitting your keyframes or else you're going to have very sudden stops and starts and that looks a little bit choppy sometimes. So you want to grab your keyframe just like this and split it. And then just make sure that it lines up on your beat still. 
just like that. And that's it for the first clip. All right, this next clip that I have here is uh, actually the clip that Nick was shooting earlier today of the bedrooms. Um, I think for this one, I actually want to start it out at 40%. So remember, just right click on your clip, go down to show clip keyframes, go to time remapping, and then click on speed. So I remember, I want to start this one off at 40%. Okay, so on that hit right there, I want to speed it back up. So let me just find that hit right there. So I'm going to drop a keyframe, then I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to split this keyframe here. I want to go right on the drop, just split it, line it back up. And then you can see I have this shadow here of the Ronin. I don't like that you can see that. So I'm actually gonna drop another keyframe right here before you can see that shadow. And then I'm gonna pull it up even faster. I'm gonna try to go to like 600. Yeah, that's perfect. Gives me just enough space here. So I want it to slow back down now on this drop. So first of all, I'm going to go back here and actually, I think for this purpose, I'm not going to split these keyframes because it happens over a black screen and I kind of want it to be fast and jerky and not drawn out. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm just going to drop a keyframe on this beat here and then zoom in a little bit and I'm going to slow it back down all the way back down to 40 percent. Then go ahead and split this keyframe. And it's still a little jerky so I'm going to split it even more. Okay. Let's render that out and see what it looks like. A lot of this is just messing around with it too. Um, you know, you, you want to play with these keyframes until it looks right in your eyes. So you can see here's the first shot, into the second shot. Yeah, not bad. So yeah, that's basically it guys. Just make sure that you're following the rules. Don't go any slower than 40% if you only shot at 60 frames per second. And make sure that you're splitting your keyframes so you don't have choppy stop and starts. All right, that's all we got for this video. Now I'm gonna leave you guys with the property tour video that we shot for this house. So enjoy. Yo, what up? It's the next morning here. Um, I know I told you guys last night that I was going to leave you off with the property tour, but I actually can't do that because we exported that property tour in 24 frames per second, and we are exporting this video in 30 frames per second. So whenever I drag that 24 frame footage into the timeline, it's actually laggy and choppy, which is a perfect example as to why you want to be shooting, exporting, and editing all in the right sequence settings and frame rates. With that being said, I'm just going to leave the property tour video down in the description. You guys can feel free to check it out for yourselves. And that's all we got. Peace.